And hello there everyone, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So as some of you may know, I did start a Slytherin playthrough. The problem was I started pretty much right after the Ravenclaw playthrough was done. And yeah, I ended up burning up rapidly because we already did Hogwarts Legacy at the time, and doing it over again was yeah, not the best idea. Because I tried doing it also as a New Game Plus way, which the game's not designed for, designed for New Game Plus. So basically I had all the spells and stuff, and yeah. Because the way the game works is very... The whole progression is about, well, you get the spell, and then you do the stuff. Then you get this spell, then you do this stuff. Sort of like a Metroidvania in a way. Well, basically, you once you get these spells, you could go do these things, unlock those things. And the main one being, of course, Aloha Mora, which yeah, locked doors make things very bullshit early on, very bullshit. But the problem is, yeah, we. We got into it, and then I got burned out. I was like, "Yeah, I'll come back to it." And then when I, before I could even come back to it, we lost the saves, which was unfortunate. It's one of those games like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where well, the slaves are gone. We couldn't really continue, so we scrapped the series. But. Well, I'm in one of those states where I'm going through that whole post-game depression and spent like, I don't know, probably an entire day just looking at new things like maybe I should try that, but no, but this, but that, but this and I couldn't decide on anything because uh, I want like something I don't know what I want, that's the problem <laughs> And I decided, hey, you know what, this thing technically works for both Halloween and for Christmas. It just depends which season we're in. It works. So, we can call this hill a number one, the October ones, though. The problem, though, is we already are sort of booked on videos for October. Like, we have everything start to send that it's done. And needs uploaded. And then we have Baldur's Gate 3, which needs, oh, it needs work. It needs me to actually be able to focus. And yet, here we are, doing another Let's Play that's not that. Also, another relatively long Let's Play, too. This took, what, like, 40-some vids? So, anyway. We are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts uh, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17. Outside school, however, due to your unique circumstances, you know, us being a MacGuffin and everything, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor uh, a laser or a fig to help you hone your spell castle before us going you from London to the castle of the Star of Terror Feast and the Sword so. Also, technically my computer has gone it's similar in specs, but the graphics card is way different than the one we used the first to record this. We're still this game would be a lot better on an SSD. Just yeah. The problem though is I cannot fit anything on my SSD. Like, even if I, like, removed, like, give me a second. Let me do some math, though. So this thing is taking up, like, 70-something, so, okay. Okay, okay. So Guild Wars 2, whoa, 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 stop that. So Guild Wars 2 is taking up 72.3 gigs, right? Hogwarts Legacy is taking up, let's see here. 73 point. Oh, that's actually not bad. The problem though is, yeah, if I, like, if I moved Guild Wars 2 temporarily from my SSD, 
we might be able to technically run this on the SSD. The problem though is, yeah. Yeah, it's complicated because, well, to be fair, Guild Wars 2 is backed up on potentially three drives. But yeah, Hogwarts Legacy I would have to then move over there and... Huh. The problem though is I would have to get through Hogwarts Legacy before returning to Guild Wars 2 at any real point because, yeah, if I move it off the SSD... Still, it's not a bad idea, I mean. That is not a terrible idea. Because it would be, it would run better, but yeah. It's not that much of a difference. Baldur's Gate 3 has to stay on the SSD, though, because it's 152 gigs. It's taking up pretty much the entire drive. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I, I have an idea. So, first thing I want to get this started, and, well, the problem though is there's no good saves. Hmm. But yeah, we'll be back. Okay, so. We did transfer this over to the SSD. We place Guild Wars 2 on the SSD, because Guild Wars 2 technically could be on another drive. It's just Guild Wars 2... It's like, for Guild Wars 2 it's a difference of, okay, it takes like 10 to 20 seconds to get into this map versus up to a minute to get into this map. See, that's not terrible. Compared to Hogwarts Legacy or Baldur's Gate 3, well, okay, it, you got into the thing, but then you have to literally wait for everything else to start rendering, which, yeah, that's where the problem lies in. Like, I would prefer having things render faster than, you know, maps load faster. Besides, once this video, well, once this series is done, I can always remove it from the... SSD if need be. Anyway. The problem though is I'm not going to remember that when we... If I go back to Guild Wars 2 for anything important. Like, you know, Halloween and stuff. And it's going to be like, oh. Why is it taking so long? Oh, that's why. But anyway. It's time to actually... Yeah, the already hill. Oh god, that's... Yeah, that's different. Because, yeah, usually when I start this... Okay, you have to wait for these things to load. And then you have to wait for the faces to load. Oh. Boy, SSD makes that so much nicer. So much nicer. So much nicer. Okay, the problem though is... There's the thing. Presets. One thing the game doesn't tell you is... Because you could just, you know... You could change, yeah. Does it? You change that however you wish, but it doesn't tell you that you basically technically have to go to preset tail and decide on one of these. Now, it doesn't mention that, by the way, because there's no actual option in like the character thing for choosing that. So anyway, here's the thing, skin tone. Doesn't really matter with what we're doing. We have, you know, faces. All the potential faces. Eh, it's like, do I want to be male or female in this? Well, we want to go where we're going with the Slytherin playthrough, you know. We should probably be Vortimort. Good old Vortimort. Vortimort. So, Right, I forgot to put Vody more in the tag, didn't I? Good old Vody Mort. Okay, so. 
And then hell colors. Hell colors. Do I want the pack? I mean, I'm not against the pack. I'm not against the pack. And there was a lot of hair stars I could try, but. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see, how did builds work? Complexion? Scars? Scars. I know, it's all weird seeing him build. Build that doesn't fully attach. And how do I affect the color for that, though? Huh. Is that eyebrow color? It's eyebrow color. And probably well, so I want full weld or that. I mean, given the fact of how it affects the eyebrows, it means we technically. Doesn't matter what eyebrows we choose now, does it? Eye color doesn't matter. Does not matter. And that's the one of course too. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Now here's why I hate. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. We don't have any good boys. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Here's the thing. Hard. Hard is tempting, but. Only if we had access to, you know, um. All of our spells. Cause, yeah, some of that stuff is a bit of a pain, especially early on. Well, we are Vody. Vody Mort. Okay, I need a last name. I'm sure it won't matter. You know, probably more Carlton. Nah. Well, do more Dredo. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that works. And we didn't crash this time. How's that? Look at that hell, it's so glorious and clippy. Yeah, that works. Okay, start so, oh, OG. Well, let's see how this works. Oh, damn. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. I'm sure Thank you, I'm Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time. Oh, <laughs> Eliazar! George, 
glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. No, After you. At all. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. About that. It's not like the like Union Jack wasn't fully rendered. But I have an SSD, on the SSD, so it should be. <laughs> oh well. Warner Brothers again. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year apparently how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts I'm so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, oh, I believe right. he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Did you know that whole MacGuffin thing? Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We do not know. Oh. Okay, bye.
Tokyo! Don't you need a wand to be able to cast that, though? Are you alright? You're hurt. Yeah, Papel, I'm a bit. Already. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Slurp. I'm only going to need like 7,000 of those. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, <sighs> so, where are we? Oh, uh, you know, places. I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Oh, an item we got up. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. So here's a question, though. I'm wondering just how... <coughs> <clears throat> How much we can set this up? Because, you know, our recommended as well. <coughs> oh, it didn't even bitch about it. It's just, by the way, hi. I, I don't think. Here's the thing we are not pressing for ultra. I'm pretty sure the benchmark would say we should be on low. We probably should be on low. Medium is probably fine. So, yeah. Sound. I want to lower the vo voice volume down just a bit. Music down just a bit more. There we go. So, yeah, it's like things running smooth. I don't remember the first time we did tried doing this. Oh, it did not work on my helmet computer. And the problem though is it worked on you know the new computer. Well, I should say the old new computer. The only problem though is eventually over time it had uh, issues where the graphics would basically be like notably yeah, they would start turning like rainbow on things. And like, for example, male students' robes would bug out a bit. Yeah. But yeah, definitely run smooth on the SSD. I remember when you get like a bigger one that actually can store most of my shit that needs it. Like, you know what would be great? If we actually had one for like fucking cyberpunk. Uh though cyberpunk's one of those things that's like we could go back to it, but yeah, the main reason why we quit cyberpunk was uh the low times at time which is horrendous. Anyway, we got stuff to do. It'd be nice if I could move faster. Oh, so those birds. The birds are not How ready far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she... And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Everything's nice looking, but those birds definitely look like they're low drop. Mind okay. your step. Up, we're running. We're 
Yeah, Where really. do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam Perfect. spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient yeah. magic. <laughs> ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare Ball. few that seems to have been lost to time. Yeah, you know, this Hogwarts magic. Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Okay. <laughs> he just leaped but sir, why was you. your wife searching for evidence okay. of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But wow, magic yeah. is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. I want to trust me with that magic. Oh, wait. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. It's some sort of barrier. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus ah, yes. on the center. Why? So basically, hey. Excellent! Oh, so it's gone. By the way, you can use your camera to set it an archer target. Thanks. Like, how are we looking at these things? Here's the thing. Just hope our mouse does not glitch out and go off screen. Because, you know, randomly tapping your mouse is rapid succession. That can be bad. You don't know what you're going to press. Press all the things. Make sure I'm recording properly. Looks like it's fine. Looks like it's in the right window side. Now. Okay. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Why would you with the, uh, the right mouse button? Yeah. Now it's an aiming thing, but I forget how well it works. Well, you just you know do this. I remember we're supposed to sound like Voldemort when we cast spells. Not as heavy bad, but after spells. Also, a oh, high rip for the red cards. Okay, here's the thing. I would join you, but I need to go this way. Why? That was a box. Oh, God, box. Just a reminder. This here is very much... It's very much like a Ubisoft game. It's what the pet was not a Ubisoft game. It definitely has the feel of being like, you know, a Ubisoft game. So basically, make sure you go and find all those pieces of candy. We're close now, it's just ahead. Cause there's a lot of them. Well, that... Oh, I was watching that thing move. Oh, Ben's gone. Steady yourself! Repairo! I don't think this was naturally formed this way, so how is that be? Could you repair it properly like that? Almost there! If anybody repairs, it has to be used on basically already existing broken structures. That's just the only way you put that together just out there now, compared to, you know, after repairing it. Also, I want to remind you, despite how good our Madru will become, it's nothing like, you know, NPC cutscene Madru, sadly. Just like, you know, any other game with, like, you know, NPC cutscene forms, powers. NPC cutscene uh, powers. Well, basically, they will always technically be above, well, 
probably above your limits to an extent. Anyway. Here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Well, if you let me actually move faster. <laughs> the main map shows us around it, but you in the middle of this is going to get to do the shit. That's a tar horse. Professor. It's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Well, those are like what? Tower cards? Be looking at, you know, stars and shit. Touching orbs and shit. Could be silks, huh? Oh, so. Hey, I have an orb. Professor. This statue. This may have been his home. Oh yeah, it could have been potentially. Oh here, you know the Scottish Highlands. On a mountain cliff. <laughs> I'm saying this game was so shrouded in controversy when it first came out, like. Oh no, it's uh, it's something related to Harry Potter, it's from, it's related to, you know, J.K. Rowling. That means we gotta boycott this entire thing. She can't make money off it, oh no. Yeah, but at the same time, it's, it's one of those situations, Will. Yeah, sure, she made controversial statements against the trans community. That's bad. But at the same time, she has barely anything to really do this. Sure, she gets a cut back from the money made off of it, but... That would basically be like saying... Oh no. Walt Disney support the Nazis. And thus we should boycott everything Disney ever made because, you know... Walt Disney supported the Nazis. Because technically he did. And yeah, and that's for what? All the Disney stuff? The only problem though is the difference though is Walt Disney's, you know, dead. Or at least that's what we're told anyway. So he's not really seeing the money go though. So that's a bit, that's a bit different in that regard, but still. It's basically like that. Well, the one who's basically barely involved gets money from the sales of something that doesn't have anything to do with what people are bitching about. It's a bit stupid, my like bad. Like for example, I have a boycott against Blizzard. Because Blizzard's doing, uh, has been doing stupid shit. So I don't really play, you know. The only problem though is I still play their games. But I don't give them money, so. Shrug. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what Why did I it get blocking? I actually pay for this. Because, you know, reasons. What's this? Professor Fig! Oh, I see a bag. Okay, so here it gets a bit weird in a way. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. So, okay, so my problem though is we're here in the Scottish Highlands. And this takes us to... What in Merlin's 
name? Let's take this over hell. Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. A moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, we're living here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. But isn't Gringotts Vault over number twelve, here? I presume. England? <clears throat> Precisely. The key. White's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. But yeah, isn't Green Cats over in England? <whistles> no, yeah. After you. inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there in Green Courts? Oh, Hundreds. Wow. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? A breath. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I uh, know, I would assume from vault one to the left and probably even over. <laughs> Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Nice mutton chops. And arm there. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. 
Well, if you think about it, Goblin Rebellion, and you they control the money and the vaults. They could literally. When was the last time this vault was accessed? The entire. A goblin has been stationed nation. at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Well, yeah, they could literally fund an entire nation because all they have to do is just siphon from all the wizards' vaults. Yeah. Oh, I want to loot the bots. I should have pressed F. I should have. Vault 12. Right, Thank Stephen. you for your help. No, I have loot to go. I have loot to be doing. Exactly, I have loot. We up here in a second. Okay. What do you suppose we should be looking for? Oh, you know. I'm not sure. Stuff. Sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Goodbye. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio! Yes, is a revealing it? charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? To be fair, Ready or one one voice doesn't focus. sound like Voldemort half the time. So, hey. Do, 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 do. We just point him out and press the space bar. Revelio! Uh, there. We're going to be I using this spell probably the most. Move a bit closer and try again. Welcome to using Rebellion. Rebellion. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okay. I shall lead the way. And now everything. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. Revelio! We will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Revelio. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. As far as I'm trying to remember what these things are. As far as I know where they're at, but yeah, I don't know where they're at. Does that make any sense? Revalue! I'm just getting distracted by the trippy colors of the cast. Hey, I. I see something up ahead. What is but, it? That glow again. But, then but on the, the floor. I think it's the net search that has a chest. But I know those chests now. It's just I can't remember if it's this search or late. It's late. Okay, well, we got repair wheel. Let's go poke this thing. Oh. Oh. But you want me to interact with the magic? So you want me to interact with the match, but yeah, you want me to stay close to the pig. Oh. Revelio! My bad. My bad. Okay, now we can interact with the bitch. You know, let me just... Ask him. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you... All right. Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? Oh, you know, just a statue. I, I see some saying. sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio! I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there. 
but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. By the way, Lumos. You know. Not Lumos, Lumos. So hey, you've acquired your frickin' skill bar now. You've acquired the one line on Lumos, which has... I mean Lumos, which has... I'm even slot to spell slot. By the way, you're talking no about... Lumos! Well done! Exactly. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. By the way, I've got this hell. Oh, stand like over hell. That's not... And you know, just guys. Why won't the be? Huh? Look out! Potato. Potato. Accio! Defendo! Levioso! Deposo! Look at him go. Up top, Deposo! Exposo! Come on, everyone. Potato. Professor Fig! Professor, and where are you? Gone. This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Well, that's why we have Lumos. What's happening? Well, the magic. The wisps of magic seem to be the leading me somewhere. The problem is it turns your thing off every time you do this. Which is unfortunate. But, you know. Revelio! Revelio is useful. Revelio is useful. Very yours best spell. Gamic spell. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. That's very very hard to do. Pretty great. Okay, I think we have the chest. Well, at least most of them. Of course the the button. So time to do trials. Okay. So remember, Lumos. you have Lumos. Oh, so of course that you I have to. I'm on my own this time. Then you have to aim the statues. Hey, like that. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of there. That doesn't make sense to me. Like, okay, let's think about it. Pretty much any game with a blocking and a parry thing, normally you would hold to block, right? And like the parry would be your tap. Because you'd want to tap right before you're attacked. But this this is weird because they want you to hold to just go to steal the pie. And instead of tap. Like, it feels like it should be the other way around. But anyway. 
Oh, so it's, it's very useful because, okay, to demonstrate. Super fight! Super fight! Not for help me, Dave. Does it block everything as it'll become a <laughs> it'll become more relevant later on when you know we're gonna be really dodging shit. Revalue Check it. Yeah, when well, it's like, oh yeah, by the way. We Oh yeah, by the way, they're casting a red spell. They're casting this spell. You should interrupt them. By the way, they're casting this. And then there's like five others that are already casting too. Oh, and that one's shooting you over crossbow. Revalue! <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Oh good, we summoned the door. Well, you yeah, know, we should probably go through that. So now, well, are we, are we still in green cuts, or are we? We're probably somewhere completely out. Yeah. And I, I don't know why I was thinking that basically, yeah, that one in the Scottish Highlands wouldn't have teleported us who knows how many miles, and I it was just green cuts behind the wall. No, that was probably a, ma a teleport that took us, you know, all the way there. Revalue! Anyway, revalue. Because revalue. Because you, you know you want to revalue. Revalue is your best friend. You're going to be using it so much. So much. Lumos? Lumos is useful for a few puzzles. But quickly, it becomes one of those ones that you aren't really going to want. The problem though is you're going to want add some out different scale bars that you can just swap between. You're going to want numerous builds. You're going to want one that's basically more Revenue. designed for combat. One that's for this sort of puzzle solving. One that's for that sort of puzzle solving. And then you're probably going to want a whole separate one just for, you know, the dark magic, the spells you shouldn't be casting. That, by the way, the game does knock every single shit about you casting. These unspeakable spells you shouldn't cast. Nah, no one really gives a fuck. <laughs> That's the problem. Anyway. Hey, look at the thing. We should totally touch it. Oh, hi, Professor Big. Uh, there you are. How did you... Ah, uh, you know. What, what is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that... basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Well, you know, we should probably go see what this is Follow my about. lead.
All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies oh, no. it. We've done all that we can. Responsibilities. Oh, there you go. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Because I'm a MacGuffin. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the... Well... I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. so powerful a goblin he seemed wholly unaffected by my magic man he's got hacks armor where are we <laughs> it can't be it seems those who set up the pensive the locket and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here yeah no come we have a sorting ceremony to get to. In the middle of the forest. But we're not that far away from. 
And there's the copyright music. That reveal was so beautiful. Oh yeah. Hogwarts Legacy. Those are that cinematic problem that we don't have any control over. Fun times. The problem though is are we just walking all the way there? It might take us another hour or two to get back. Just saying. If we're walking all the way there. Honestly, there's a lot of things this game did right. There are a few negatives, though, which we'll probably get into, but there are a lot of things this game did right. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Um, I don't think it now, really changed that much. <laughs> I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Don't uh. so wish I could have, like, his beard and mustache. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. That Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Well, I should probably go. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Okay, bye. Ah, oh, it's time, everyone. The best part of Alchemist, getting sorted. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Oh, the collectibles Indeed. are shiny. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Probably gas. Probably gas. So here's the thing. Welcome to your choices. Curiosity sort of a Ravenclaw thing. Daring's your 
I believe Derringer or Gryffindor thing. Loyalty would be probably Hufflepuff. So, you know, ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. Wow. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Do you belong in Slytherin? So I will take your choice as a cat when showing you to the house. Remember, you can just say which house you want. It's the thing about it. It's like, you don't have to choose what you end up on. It's basically like your usual, hey, I probably you only really get two questions and then ah, this is where you end up. But yeah. I mean, this is a Slytherin play, too. Sadly, there's not really that much... ...difference between most choices in this. You belong in Slytherin! Yay. Huzzah. Huzzah. Everyone's happy, even in non friends. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Because, you know, mechanics for Quidditch were too complicated. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Maybe Hogwarts but Legacy too. don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Okay, well, let's go bug her off. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Bizarre. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I imagine it's a mixture of it's way too much excitement versus how tired we are from the trip hill. Yeah. We could actually even sleep. Looks like everyone's gone. Let's head to the corner. Oh, we probably just slept in. Probably slept for half a day. You know, the usual. But remember. Revalue! Exactly. Also, I'm pretty sure we're at the point where we can save. Yes. We can also go over here and eat things. Doesn't really do anything for us? No. But we can do such. I need to head to the common room. I need to do the shit. Revalue! Because here's the problem, though, is 
At the moment, we don't really have a uh, actual menu until we get a certain item, sadly. I want to get a certain item. Oh god, it's going to begin. Oh, we're not ready. It's going to be a lot of looting, exploring, using a spell to grab something. Oh yeah, well, first of all, we're going to have to get the spells. Because that's the thing. As I said, it's sort of like a Metroidvania in the fact that you need spells to get things to get more spells to progress. But yeah, I think that's probably it for this video. Yes, yes. Because I remember when we first did this, I mean, when we did the first run of the Slipper playthrough, we basically gave ourselves all the powers. Just just because, you know. And then we spent the entire second or third video just exploring the entire castle, looting things. This time, yeah, we're going back to the, like, the Ravenclaw playthrough. We're not going to be able to get everything at once. Because it's going to be a lot of, well, you're going to need fire for this. Oh, don't have access to that. You're going to need pull for this. You're going to need other stuff for that. But, yeah. We'll do what we can. It's definitely going to be a whole... You're not really allowed to explore properly until... Probably around the time we get... Aloha Mora. Because Aloha Mora is basically, hey, you can now unlock shit. Which is, yeah. That's where it's like, hey, now you have the free... Where to go explore a lot of everywhere. Also, I believe it's a, like, yeah, I have to level up a little more like one, two, three, to get through the hardest lock. Yeah, right, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that sucks, doesn't it? Anyway, we'll deal with it later. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all and have a nice day.